Hello, my beautiful friends. How are you, Geminis? I'm so glad you stopped by today. Thank you. Thank you for joining me here. This is a love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus of Gemini. And it is a timeless reading, but it will be published for the first week in September. All right, let's see what we have at the bottom of the deck. We have throwing caution to the winds. Look at you. Ooh, possibly making an, ooh, two aces. Look at that, four of wands. Ooh, very, very nice energy, Gemini. All right, so let's see what you and your partner have for mutual energy in the recent past. Aquarius energy, the full card, a new beginning. Like it, throwing caution to the winds and going for it. Look at that. The mutual energy currently is Ten of Swords. Ouch, that looks painful. Walking away, there could have been an argument. That's like a very... For, that's a very fast reading. A new beginning and a ten of swords. Okay, we'll clarify, of course. How does your person view the path forward with you or the relationship as it is now? They feel very much that you're one of their best friends. How do they view you as somebody who's very successful in the limelight? Somebody with whom they would like to be seen? How do they feel in their heart space? Nine of Cups, they love you a lot. These are very deep friendship cards. The Nine of Cups is eat, drink, and be merry, but it also is the fairy godfather, fairy godmother of the deck. So you are their wish fulfillment in some regard, you know, but lots of love, lots of affection, lots of happiness, starry nights. How does your person view the path forward with you? Ooh, devil card, okay. Devil card means that your person really has an agenda. They want to control the situation. This is Capricorn energy. Very, very handsome devil, but, you know, glitter in the hair, beautiful green eyes, but there's a puppet on a string here, which is not very, very lively and good looking here. All right, so the mutual energy that's hidden between the two of you is you have fire in your belly. So we have Sagittarius, Leo, we have Aquarius, we have Gemini, we have Pisces, we have uh, Cancer Energy, Capricorn. Spirit is recommending you need a foundation. This is blowing up. Let the tower fall is what the Spirit says. What Spirit is telling us is that there needs to be something more powerful in this relationship. Your outcome card is the Emperor, King of the Kings. Somebody's planning some big moves here. This is also a manifestation card. Okay, so let's go ahead and clarify the cards. Great card, except for three. <laughs> Oh, look at three major arcanas, though. Four major arcanas. Two, three, four. Nice. Okay. So why is a fool card here in the recent past? Was there a new beginning? A new beginning? Could this have been a breakup and a makeup? Please tell us. Clear messages, spirit. Yeah. A new beginning feeling defensive. Okay. That's your energy in the heart space in the recent past. That was your mutual energy. Why did you feel defensive? Ah, Empress card. Emperor and Empress could be marriage to someone else, okay. However, could also be a buildup of energy to divine partnership, okay. So let's see, so your person, both of you feel as though you're one another's Empress. You both feel as that you're an exciting new beginning for one another. Why do we have the 10 of swords as your mutual energy right now? work looks like it's separating the two of you three of swords okay so i think we have a third party situation six of cups okay so you both want to have a reunion it looks like you're in separation right now it looks as though one person appears to have walked away it appears that both of you want a reconciliation. Work is, seems to be a theme here. But when we look at that energy, you know, somebody's defending an empress is what I'm seeing, even with a new beginning. So, okay. 
And we'll see what goes on here. The Three of Cups. Why is the Three of Cups here, Spirit? Why is the Three of Cups here? As the way your person sees the situation currently. Oh, look at that. Well, they seem to be very happy that they're married, even if it's to someone else. And the fact that they have maybe a friends with benefits is how they look at it. But they also feel wounded by it. Interesting energy. Very, very big dichotomy here in how your person feels. They feel happy. They love you. They love you deeply as a friend. They feel as though you're part of their stability. They see even the thought that there could be a future for the two of you. But the Four of Swords says that they feel very wounded. There's a lot of wounding here. Four of Swords is somebody wrapped up in the fetal position. It's a warrior who's come in after a long war and needs to rest and mend their heart. So the Six of Wands energy, why is it here? Look at that. Three cards fell out. Look at this. You can't make this up. You have the page of coins. The, your person sees you as being open to making them an offer. They see you as being very strategic, and they see you as a person who's friend-zoning them. They're not really sure that you would want to be married to them. That's what's so interesting here is they might, want, they might want to be married to you even though they're married to someone else while you're just sort of in this more mellow energy. Almost like you're very, you know, you're okay with the fact that you're friends. Why is the Nine of Cups here? That's another big friendship card. Why is the Nine of Cups here? Four of Cups. Ooh, <laughs> your person feels as though sometimes maybe you aren't giving them attention oh they want your attention they want a new beginning with you why why should they need to have huh? i can't even talk why should they have a new beginning with you why is that necessary okay why is a new beginning necessary because it hasn't been fair so they think that there's something that's unfair in this situation with you. Okay, what do they think is unfair about this if they're the one that's married? I mean, I could see it if you're married and they're not, but I'm not reading it that way. I'm reading that your person is more likely to be the one who's married here and they feel like life is treating them in a very unfair way. Ooh, they want to make a head over heart decision here. What is it that your person will cut out? Uh, all right. So the Queen of Wands is typically the other woman. Because now we have the Queen of Wands and the, the Empress card and the Emperor. So look at that. The Queen of Wands, look at, she's dividing the two. So it basically says that your person in their heart space is very much attracted in love. Really that, that you're dividing this, this, this marriage up. All right, why is a devil card here? Why is a devil card here? Fire in the belly again. Look at all these repeating cards. Your person feels really obsessed with holding on to you. They want to manipulate the situation. They want to use chess player moves to control the situation because they have fire in their belly. They're hoping that their luck changes. They want the Wheel of Fortune to bring something new about or to put things into action. Why is why does this person want this move? Why do they want this? They seem to be very settled in the idea that you're friends with benefits. Seven of Cups, they fantasize about you. They want equal give and take. They may not have that in their partnership. They feel as though they have to make a choice. They love you. Okay. Nine of Wands, why is there fire in the belly? Fire in the belly of Gemini and their person. This is like a fractured fairy tale. Okay, Do you, does anybody remember those? Okay. King of Cups reversed. Somebody is opening up about their emotions. 
But the King of Cups reverse doesn't make me very happy because that's somebody who's not as balanced either. But that's both of your energy. This is really sort of rattling both of you. This is like Scorpio energy gone bad. You know, it's feeling jealous. It's feeling possessive. All right. What else is going on that's hidden between the two of you? You both want each other. The strength card reversed. Neither of you have the courage to speak up and say what you want. One more card for this clarifier on what's hidden, please. Ah, the Hermit card, Virgo energy. You're both trying to find answers. You're both trying to be enlightened. Spirit is saying that the tower has to come down so a foundation can be built, that something has to change. What does that mean? You have to work together, work slowly and deliberately. Virgo, a strong Virgo vibe here. You have to make a master plan if you want this to work. You have to be passionate and something has to end. Okay. So Spirit is saying, Spirit is supporting the connection to some extent, but it's also saying that, you know, a marriage has to be left behind if something has to end. Makes sense. Okay. So why is the Emperor card here? You know, I had to redo your reading, and I had a different version of this when I did the other reading. And I shuffled the cards like crazy, and here we are again. Okay. King of Wands, Aries, King of Wands. So, ooh, Gemini. Your person is seeing competition. King of Swords. That is a lot. Wow. Okay. Well... The Emperor, the King of Swords, the King of Wands. Three of Wands, they feel as though you're the ship that has arrived in the harbor, but they think you have a different ship that's arrived in the harbor for you. They feel closed out, you feel closed out. The Six of Swords moving on after a difficult time. So right now I'm seeing that it looks, oh look at that, I can't even believe I pulled that. The star card, the two of you really love each other. That spirit has brought the two of you together for a reason. Why do we have this, why is this card? Here's what I wanna know. Let's go ahead and look at the why after all of this. That's a lot to go through to have your outcome be the star card. That's, that's hopes and dreams for love coming true. It can be, <clears throat> but it's always, I always, you know, when people stand around and talk at the water cooler, I always feel like that's when somebody would say, oh, so and so is such a great person. They're so good. They have such a good soul. They have a good heart. They do charity work. They have a fabulous family. I just love them and respect them so much. Imagine. Oh, wow. So the star card is the two of you really imagining what could be manifested it's both of you really think about this. Chop wood, there we go. Chop wood, something has to be chopped away, the death card, and mending the relationship. You know, trust is always an issue when there's a third party situation. Because the problem is, is that if you are willing to have a third party situation, the first time that the quote unquote person who was married disappears for a while or acts a little differently it's like you're all up in your head thinking well are they cheating on me and you know that's a difficult question nothing is set in stone the mutable moon okay so nothing is set in stone but it looks like you guys really really love each other you adore each other your one another's wish fulfillment. There's something about your relationship that is intensely special and beautiful and spiritual. Let's see what the High Priestess Oracle has to say for you, Gemini, about this love relationship. It does look like your person has to leave somebody behind. I'm going to pull two oracles for you for your advice, and then I'm going to pull a, a journey of love 
oracle for your person to see where they're at in their path, their journey. Sacred breath and sound, life force communion. Ah, uh, you're going to keep them as a friend. You're not going to really wait around for them. You're going to be supportive and, you know, you're going to be there for your person. But at the end of the day, you don't really want your person out of your life. But I don't see you wanting to go through the turmoil that is going to be required either. I just don't see you pressuring your person. I don't see you pressuring them. I feel as though you'll choose somebody else and you would not see this as a morally right thing to do and that would have consequences. Sweet soul rising. So your person is ascending. They are in ascension. I'm going to pull two more cards for their love journey. They are starting to really look at things differently. They see you as the woman of the light. That's what the star card is. They see you as the woman of the light. They see you as very wise. Coming together. So they want to come together, but, you know, that's not your job. That's their job. And they have a lot of work to do. And even then, it doesn't necessarily lo look like you would buy in. But you both love each other tremendously. So, Gemini, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much. Like, subscribe, share, and comment. I'm so grateful for your views. Thank you.